Hey everyone, it's Bella and I'm back with another piercing tutorial, tongue piercing aftercare. So finally I'm getting a chance to do this. I've been really busy. I'm always busy, it seems like. Um, a couple weeks ago I got into a really bad car wreck and I told my car, I got hurt a little bit, but I got a new car, a Scion XB. I'm going to show you a picture right now. And, um... Um, is awesome and uh, I had to dye my hair brown I had to remove all the blinding see a little bit of the pink there but I had to dye it like this chestnut brown and everything and uh, yeah because uh, I had drape pictures and I had to make it look semi-normal so um today we're gonna be talking about the tongue piercing aftercare mine is healed and I've changed it It's a lot better. You can see it a little bit when I talk, only if I say big things like big words. And I get like really excited and I'm like, oh my god, hey. But it's not really that noticeable, which is what I love about it. Okay, so when you go into the piercing place and you get pierced, um, they will pierce you with this really long bar. This is 7 sixteenths of an inch, longer than the normal one. The normal one is 5 eighths, and it is this size. As you can see, let me put them together. You can see that that one's just a little bit bigger, but it really makes a lot of difference in the tongue. So, okay, after you get pierced, um, go home. Make sure you eat soft foods for three or four days. Um, no milk, no milk products. I know there's like so much stuff out there. People say eat ice cream, don't do that no milk products because it can create a yeast infection on your tongue just like down there and that's gross um next no spicy foods you can really irritate it no like really hot drinks like make sure like your soup and your coffee and stuff is uh a little bit cooled off before you try to do it because it will really burn and really hurt it so um yeah what you're going to want to do is go to the grocery store or walgreens and get you some mouthwash because after you drink or eat anything other than water, you're going to want to wash your mouth out because it, it helps so much. You have to wash your mouth out or you'll get an infection. So the best one is you don't need to get um, alcoholic mouthwash. It needs to be non-alcoholic, um, not too strong or anything. The one everyone recommends is Crest Pro Help. And I got this big old thing for $4.30. You see, this is how much you'll only use. So you probably don't need to get one this big, but I was just like super cautious, so I gotta get a big one. So that's that. And um, you know, I said uh, wash after everything you eat. You can also get a little travel size. Let me see if I can find it. Where's my purse? Okay. But you're gonna wanna like if you go to school or whatever, you're gonna wanna take a little mini travel. I got a little sample Crest Pro Help thing, and I'd fill it up like every day for school and wash my mouth out after lunch or whatever. Um, because you're gonna have to do it a lot and you need to have it when you go to restaurants and stuff. Um, and when you go to sleep at night, you need to brush your tongue and jewelry because plaque will build up on it. You need to do it very gently for the first couple of days. You need to get a new, to new toothbrush because your old one harbors germs and bacteria that you didn't have. So go ahead and buy you a new toothbrush, soft bristled, I'd recommend, so it doesn't hurt. And, um, yeah, you just need to, um, your tongue will swell for the first week and a half or whatever. Mine went down after actually the first couple of days. It just depends on the person. Um, and this step right here is optional. Okay, to help your aftercare, I recommend H2 Ocean mouthwash. Now, if you see my H2 Ocean piercing video or the stuff I talk about it, this product is so amazing. It's sea salt, but it has mint for the mouthwash. So it's just like the spray for the piercings, but it's oral care. And this was about $7. You can get it online cheaper. I would recommend, um, you know, Hot Topic, um, PainfulPleasures.com. They actually have their own website that you can order it off of. And it's a lot cheaper. I got it at some local place. But I used about this much. So what you do is you take one little squirt and you swish it around your mouth for 30 seconds or until it starts to tingle, not like burn, but tingle, and then spit it out. And you need to do this only twice a day, right when you wake up 
and at night. And then, you know, your mouthwash in between. Now, this step is optional, okay? Everybody thinks that you have to have this, but it just makes it heal a ton faster. Um, also, the sea salt soaks. You take a one-fourth of a tablespoon of non-iodized sea salt, which means no iodine, because normal table salt contains iodine. And you put it in eight ounces of warm water, and you swish it around. Kind of like when you pull a tooth. My mom does this, I don't know about you guys, but she used to give me salt water to swish around. It helps it heal faster. So, um, you have to wait until two weeks to get yours changed. That's the, that's what they tell you. Now, if you feel like it's, the barbell is, you're like really biting on it and stuff, I would go to your piercer and ask if you can change it early, but you really, if you're going to wait and do it yourself at home, like change it at home, you need to really wait the whole two weeks. I waited the whole two weeks, even though after the first week it was completely down or whatever. And I could feel it, like it was so long in my mouth, I'd be like, and it's super long. These little plastic ones look like they're long, but they're really not. It's just the plastic ball on the bottom is bigger than the metal ball. See, it's like a six millimeter and these are fives. Um, okay, after you change it, a big thing I recommend is acrylic balls because the acrylic balls can wear the enamel on your teeth down, like your gums right on the bottom here. And it can give you a lisp when you talk with the metal ones and you can bite on them and break a tooth. And that's not cool. If you really like the look of the metal ones, which I really do, like this one, I sell these in my store. It's the Blue Gym. I would just take the bottom ball off and replace it with an acrylic. But I'd just be careful about the top ball. But I really have lately only been wearing acrylics because they're better. And it's just, I have this thing I like to do when I'm like sitting bored like at my house. I don't do it in front of people. But I like play with it and bite it and stuff. And that's not good if you're wearing metal balls. So... I think that's pretty much it about piercing aftercare. If you have any questions, down here. And check out my store. I've been doing really great. Got so many orders. That's why I've been busy, too. All these orders and stuff. And um, I'll put links on the sidebar for the H2 Ocean. And next, I'm going to be coming up with a tutorial how to clean a tongue piercing. All right, that's it, guys. Um, have a great day.